Hello and welcome to another impromptu bowling session coming to, to from you or coming to you from yeah this is already going well the toughest candle pin alley in the history of candle pin Putnam Street Lanes in Fitchburg in other words you can just look at the pins and get a strike and that's why I like it of course per usual we're on lane 10 to be out of everybody's hair and since we go till the battery dies or till the thing says to stop let's just get going start with a decent eight. High single was done here, 139 tryout for the tournament for 2018, 139, low at 44, that was at Mason's, near the beginning of bowling the right way. Let's try it. need to punch out the David Letterman left. Two El Stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? El Stinko one lives up to its name with the David Letterman left and a one. Back to reality. El Stinko one and two both stunk, but two fell on a strike. Welcome to my world. At least the frame's in eight. That's what I like about this place. Garbage ball, you can still get some pins. And a seven, per usual. I'll show you the screen when we're done. Half time I just report. Eight, nine, strike. Eight and four, two of those only filling the strike. And a seven, we are at 44, tying my low for Masons.
ICBA standards and records that they have for casual league bowlers. Average ability is about 90. I repeat this all the time in case somebody's new to candle pan watching this. So 80 to 100 is considered average. We are in line for the bottom end of average or close to the middle. dreaded high-low jack with wood that's no help. Or if you hit it just right, it'll take out the 10 pin and give you eight. Stinko one and two this time. What will they add up to? Well, Stinko one was okay, leaving the four horsemen on the right. So at least a six fill with El Stinko two left. Baron Strike. Now with one El Stinko the bonus ball. Like I've always said in Candle Pin, I can hold my own. I'm still kind of average or slightly below, but I can hold my own. El Stinko lives up to its name with a one. So the last two strike fills. All right, there was another strike. Well. Fixing this somehow, I missed something somewhere. Okay, there we go. Thank you. All right, we're at bottom of average. So I'm actually in the tenth, right? I don't know what went wrong. I think I hit the button and it didn't respond. Yeah, I gotta make sure it registers. Lobs are let live, because it's just for funs, funsies. Half Worcester right. We're gonna end on a whimper. Oh, oh. Ends with a stink frame of four, but the score not too bad. We're in average, slightly above. Of course, those of you that play professionally and competitively, it's a joke, but not bad for someone who sucks. 95. Game number two. There it goes. It was still thinking I had balls to roll down there. 
There we go, game number two. I think we can see it slightly more. Come on. Boy, this thing is touchy as anything. Alright, there we go. And number 10 is notorious for pins getting stuck in the pit. So is one. Just do that. I was about to go, but somebody else was about to go. There we go. Right. Apparently there's a spot in the floor that's not as slippery. sure it's registering. I mean, this pad's been treating me well, now it falters and I gotta look. I'll stingle the bonus ball. What will it be? Nine fill. A piece of wood that can fatten it pin up. pin in a row as a turkey. If we manage that, I will. That'll be the one time I will take the thing down to show you the animation. But let's see what El Stinko 1 will give us. Gear turn for three spares in a row. Well, we got the ten. not count towards getting a turkey. But tens are good. Oh, I still have another one to go here.
time. Nine. Spare with a nine fill from the second spare. And a ten, which only four fill that spare. And a nine. A very healthy 61. And I usually get at least one three-digit score here. six to possibly ruin things. Well, the way things are going, we can afford one of those. God's woke up. Welcome to Mason's. Yep, the game has collapsed. We're already in the great collapse. Not a single good frame since five. one, or at least in the middle of average. That helps. L stinkle the bonus ball to wrap it up. Oh, wow. That many for three digits, so we're gonna get one or two. Which will it be? And it's all falling apart, but we made it. Now Stinko lives up to its name and my game has sucked since frame six. Looks like we're already collapsing. And adjust the camera because it keeps changing positions. We 
waiting for the computer to let us go. There. Game number sign when you hit your leg and it actually helps. That's an eight to start. Huh? Was a gift. Ten. You couldn't be any more perfect than that. And the funniest thing is, I was the one that shot it. Well, Stinkle the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? You know that phrase is coming. Phil is okay, but the bad news is our friend Bob is here. Bob Kaliri. He's showing his left side. things with the six. Squeak through with an eight. Half time. Eight ten. Spare. Curse of the fill with only a six and four. Five of them from the mark. And an eight. Respectable 47 for the casual player.
it's a seven, it dropped in the gutter just as it hit the pins. Bob doesn't want to just show you the left side. He wants to show you his right side as well. And look what's standing up for ball three. middle finger remains for the nine. Yeah, I got a little bit of a lob problem because I'm coming off of duck pins. Less than normal, though. Decided to take a trip halfway to Worcester, and here we are. of three. Again, gutter ball took that. So, well, so much for having a game in the 90s. wasn't the side I was going for, but it worked. And it'll stink on to wrap it up. Hey, bottom end of average, we can make it average average. And a six to just barely put it into the middle of average. Remember, anything 80 or higher is good for us casual people. So, 90. Ooh. Ooh. And a six. Those hurt. All right, we'll come back in a moment to start the next set. We are back and out of position. There we go. Game number four. And yeah, I know some people say there's no need to say we're coming, we'll be back. But they notice the jump cuts. start. And that's why they say even in duck pins and I'm sure five pin as well, the third ball is very important. Wait for the 
wood to settle down. And there we go. Way too far to the left. Got the 10. Anyway, that's a nine. Helped take out the low and the jack, but left the high for the niner. Thing except for the 10 and 2, 46. sees this video. The older guy that was here to help me fix the score in game one, I hit the strike button, but did not care to take a look because I trusted this thing so much. Now I can't really. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Probably didn't hit it hard enough or glanced it. They work pretty well here. El Stinkle the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Stinko didn't stink this time. That's an eight. Two in a row. Again, three spares in a row. Obscure term is a chicken. In candle pin, any combination of strikes and spares three times in a row is a turkey. And like I said, if I happen to do that, I will take the camera off and show you the turkey animation. Candle pin is a lot harder. That's why any combination of three marks in a row is a turkey. Again. 
but that was exactly the butt I was hoping for. All right, time for the turkey animation. spare there. That time I forgot to put the number in, but I caught it. We had that weird thing. And there are three spares in a row, so that's a chicken. This phone sits in the holder a little differently each time because the holder's a little wider than the phone is. All right, another old stink on the bonus ball. Helicopters do a lot of damage here. A crap, a crap throw, and this place is sanctioned, so they can't cheat. A niner. So we're in three-digit land. And this time, I actually remembered to put the number in. I could have used the wood, but I hit it directly. That's four marks in a row. Time to wrap it up with El Stinko. And it's giving me the turkey thing again. Nine fill. That's five. Five marks in a row. Ah, 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 ah. And it'll stink to wrap it up. duck pins out. Uh, I put seven. I put a seven. It's giving me a turkey animation. Okay, it did enter the right score and oh wow. So close. So close. So close. This time we had a great ending and so close, four away. Can't argue with the 135. Well, I doubt this game will be as good. <laughs> I think that's kind of a given. Game number five.
crappy five star. Well, it looks like the great collapse is going to start now. It could also be just a really crappy start. I have hit three digits with a two frame at least twice. where I wanted to throw it, I just didn't think it would get the spare. It got the spare. Time for El Stanko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be this time? First ball, 10 pin. El Stinko lives up to its name of the one. the score, it's asking you to correct the spare fill as well, which is kind of odd. Kids decide to watch a frame. That's what that was. They did not seem bad at all. As Dave Manila says, when you shoot a half Worcester and you get a spare on it, it's pretty when it goes. Time for El Stingle the bonus ball. But before we do that, we're at the halftime. You got a crappy five, and a spare, and a lousy six. Five of them making that spare, then a nine and a spare. We are at least 41 with El Stinko. Let's see what we get to wrap up the fifth frame and start the sixth. comes to a 49 half. That's too 
marks in a row. Time for El Stinko again. Let's see what we get. and the eight, that's a five fill. kid that comes over and watches, he's a riot. And I'm not being sarcastic. He's literally a riot. That's a 10. Holy God's middle finger last to fall. I wish kids were more like him. Seriously. That's right, plenty of wood to help. to go for the Emily. This is the second time. We don't see Emily, we see David Letterman. Take a seven from that disaster. Good news is we are in average territory. Nine away from the three digit mark again. They just said it. Need one more. Story of my life went away. But you think I'm going to reject a 99? No. Putnam's is so easy. Computer's being a little slow today. There we go. Game number six. That's the best start you can possibly have. Two El Stinko the bonus balls. This and Brian's bowl away are the only two places where I've gotten two in a row. Four horse. 
horsemen, I believe that's what's left. Six at least. Ten fill, also a spare. I'll stink of the bonus ball again. It's complicated. So now two El Stingo the bonus balls and the second El Stingo the bonus ball from the frame before. And we've seen it. Wait, I didn't get two strikes in a row. Alright, two El Stinkos, that's the right thing. The four horsemen, and this time the eight pin is behind there. Remember who's doing this. We'll take ten. This looks like it could be a new high single. One thirty nine is the mark. like I'm not the one bowling. Strike. For the 10 fill, which makes a spare. Which then I get a strike again. And then a 10 and 4, 9 making this fill there. And a 9. And unbelievable 78 for the half. You know what that means when we do really good in the beginning. The great collapse at the end. We're heading towards that 139 mark. That's why I like Putnam's, because a crap ball is easy to get something with. There's a five.
the start, Nate's okay. Three frames to go, already in the three digits. Now 139 is starting to fade away. Take seven from that awful round. Yep, 139 is out of the question. even think we're going to make the 135 I got a few games ago. Spread Eagle! Stink frame of four. We haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah, not, not even close to the 135 I got a couple games ago. I'll still take what we get in here. I'm not upset with this score. Boo! What do you want? Oh my god, that's the best. I got 29! Okay, three games, you know the drill. See you in a moment. And we're back. Game number seven. They're showing the house high of 214. I don't think we'd ever get that. I'd like to beat my 139 high. I almost could have done it. Game seven. We know the collapse is coming. kids watching. That's also why I didn't acknowledge them too much. I let them know they were there and support, but just a little too creepy to me. That's a nine.
Yeah, the wood's okay. Even I can tell. Or maybe it wasn't. Nothing came out of it. No, no harm, no foul. Dave Manila says that kind of six leave is very, very rare. You see it at least once every time I come to bowl. Can't be that rare. Either that or I just suck that bad. Six being the score, the four that are left standing. That barely stayed on. Yeah, I feel too cre creepy being around kids like that. I don't like that. They were they were very nice kids. I will say that. The ones in Masons that people thought were mocking me, they were actually mocking each other. So it's kind of the opposite, even though the others weren't. You know, the others weren't really a problem either. I just stunk that day. God's middle finger remains for the nine, and speaking of halftime, nine, nine, six, eight, nine. Bottom end of average so far with a 41. definitely would not happen at Mason's. Wrong side of the head pin, but you know, I was hoping. Barely got the 10. The important thing is the 10. Well, my footing was way off there. Uh, 
That one fell out of my hand. Now I'm just plain stunk for the eat. Niner. I think that one was behind the lob line, just barely. Like I said, right after playing duck pins, lobbing is a bit of a problem. Just going to be lucky to hit average. We did at least that. Very bottom end, but at least that. Niner. Oh yeah, these fingers are pretty bad. We're going to stop the video for a moment. Well, not very good, but again, the bottom end of average, that's okay. 82. Yeah, these balls need to be cleaned up, so we'll be back with a little more control of the ball. Alrighty, we are back. Had to clean the balls, they coming back filthy. Like I've said before at Riverwalk, there's a cycle, and right now I hit the dirty cycle at Putnam's. Probably next time I come back, I won't get filthy fingers. Normal cycle that happens. Let's start game number seven, eight, eight. Not too much of a lob. Can go for the Emily. happen. We're left with the Woolworth. So either way, it's a decent start. Kingpin left standing for the nine. As it's a little darker looking because it's further away from the backlight. That's how you can tell. Plus you can see more of the pin plate. Thank you. 
And here comes the Great Collapse, a stink frame of two. That helps. As I said before, I've had a two frame in a couple of occasions and got a three digit score, so two else think of the bonus ball. Speaking of the number two, what will we get? How fitting, El Stinko 1 gives us a 2 as I hit the camera. And that's all the El Stinkos will give us, so the strike meant nothing. Again, the Woolworth while going for the Emily, but this time no wood. And an eight, and it's rebuildable. Halftime, nine, two strike with a lousy two fill from the horrible five, curse the fill, and an eight, 36. Undeserved date. A deserved strike. At least we got a five. And we're starting to turn things around here. Spare on strike. El Stinko again. Week four. But it helps with the scoring at least. It's weak, but it helps. Eh, 
and back down the toilet we go again. The good news is we're at the bottom of average ability. Six away from average. I did not think the spare would happen, but hey, it did. This place is too easy, that's how it happened. I like this place because it's too easy. El Stinko to wrap it up. And an eight fell. Oh, how, after such a disastrous start, how did that happen? I mean, 36 at the half, 23 after three, 28 after four. Then we wind up at 102 at the end. Alrighty, game number nine. Until either the battery dies or the computer says no more. Gotta love Putnam's because it's so easy. It is so easy. I can't even get, a, I can't even get one down. Oh, that's adorable. I want you to do what you want to say. If you say, I Just looking at your face. As I was cleaning the balls, I noticed those kids are part of a birthday party. Yeah, they seem good. I, you know, I did thank them first. But like I said, in this day and age, with absolutely zero responsibility on parents, and I'm not saying theirs, I'm saying in general, if a stranger like me talks to a kid, I'm labeled a bad person. That's why we don't... So if you're watching this, that's why I'm giving you a mild acknowledgement, but not really talking. When I was a kid, it would have been all right. Worst thing that would have happened, I would have been scolded for talking to a stranger. I haven't seen any pins get stuck in the uh, pit except that one time. Bad news is it seems to hang on to the bowling balls. That piece of wood was still when I threw the ball, and under ICBA rules, if everything is still and it moves after delivery, it still counts. Got 
A ten. And in the, as soon as I say something, it happens. It's still there. Oh, it's gone now. A little bit too direct, but it gets us a seven at least. Take the 10. I have to sit through an animation before we can give you a halftime report. Starting off all right, I believe eight. Yep, eight, nine, 10, seven, and a 10, 44. Heading towards the middle of average. Fallout is not a good thing. Seven. Welcome to Mason's and a frame that's probably garbage. Stink frame of four. Well, we get bottom end of average still, very likely. God's middle finger for the nine.
Oh, well, looks like we're only going to hit mediocrity. Unless actually we get nine. Again, screwed by one, failed to hit. It's mediocre land. The great collapse has happened, thanks to the four. Thanks to the sevens, which doesn't help when you have fours. A 79, and at this place, that's not really that great. Game 10. Let's see how much battery life is left. Let's see how much battery life is left. A lot. Well, the great collapse started in the last game, keeping it going with a six. Did not deserve that. And continuing the great collapse with another eight, even though eight isn't typically too bad.
Decent nine, but nothing to really support it. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Rebuildable 38. Take frame of three to keep the collapse going. The appropriate digit for nine. And another mediocre game. Two frames to go, but it's too late. Unless we mark, that's a nine. There's a mark. The best one, because we have two chances to knock down all the pins to inflate the score. Speaking of, time for El Stinko 1 and 2. We can put it in the average mark. El Stinko living up to its name with a 2, so just to be sure that we don't hit average. Strike at six fills, not all that great, but I think it does the job. All righty. End of average, but all right. In fact, for just the casual walk in, they consider an 85 pretty much good, too. So, all right, we've hit the bottom end of average. Yes, they're good. Game one player, game 11. Actually, we'll start game 11 in a moment. We're back, game 11. We were hitting that magic mark again.
that's just about as good as you can get with a second ball there. Close but no cigar. Nine into bat. does that happen? You throw the ball 60 feet, you hit your object pin, and you get paralyzed. Actually, it wasn't a bad attempt. Yeah, for a spread eagle, 70 too bad. That one's a minor ball, but it was inches behind the line. Some of them might sound like they've gone over the line because there is a slight lag with the audio to the video. Covered with the eight. Needed one of them, but of course the bowling gods don't want me to have it. That's a seven. Continues. 97877, seven, seven. 9 and 8 are so the only good things that have happened. 38. Stingle the bonus balls. That'll help put things back on even territory. First one was okay with a six, but the leaves a little something left to be desired. It's a pretty good fill on a strike. We're left with a reverse half whisker left. And 
hits the eight. Not too bad. That's too much of a love. And that is what we call the Emily. That's when you miss everything on the first ball, get them all on the second. That love might have been a good thing. Temporal Stinkle the bonus ball really helped push things up a little bit. El Stinko does what it does best, stink. That's a three. Good out with the nine. All right, doing pretty good. We could hit middle or slightly above the middle of it. really think of the bowling god and their middle finger. All right, not too bad. All right, too many sevens and an awful three fill. 96, we could have hit three digits. for the computer to start game number 12. All right, here we go. Just a hair to the left. Niner. Brooklyn hit gets the strike. Two El Stinkos. Oh, 
Got a pin. I'm sure they wouldn't have mind. Alright, rolling ball. See, with the semi-automatics, this is where paper and pencil comes in good. Because I'll know what to do. And pin boy, don't get attached to that. Fills the first strike with a two, and now the second ball for the second strike. What a crappy fill. Crappy fill of four for that one. It kind of destroys the whole double. with an eight. They keep their stuff up pretty well, don't they? That's really not bad condition. from a miraculous how does that happen to a you got screwed how did that happen strike again and two from the next frame to add to that and another two from the eight film four to add to the second strike which makes it really hard to describe then a pair which was a pair of eights and that is the eight from the f basically we got a 61 half Okay. 
in might have got stuck in the pit. Remain for six. Could hit three digits. That one hurt. It needs seven. That gets us there. have thrown that better. Exactly where I wanted it. And got the exact result we needed. Alright, so how far into three digits? Won't be too far, but still not bad. And a six fill, one away from a 110. Oh, there's your spoiler. Yeah, that six fill didn't help. Neither did those, neither that fill, neither did that two. But a 22 ain't too bad. 14 could have been better. 109. Can't complain about a 109. Battery check. Plenty. See, this is why when it says you're exactly at 100%, you're not really there. Leave the thing plugged in for another half hour, hour. At least with the LG G5, that 100% lasts a lot longer. Game 13. Lucky 13. Let's see how that goes. As they say on Candlepin Stars and Strikes, when the bonus is implied, it, people tend to do worse. 
I bring that to the extreme. El Stinko stunk with a three. Two in a row. That was just barely behind the line. El Stinko did all right with a seven. We could get another turkey or a chicken in the actual terms of general bowling. Seven's all we're getting. Not the best. Once again, a leave that is seemingly impossible to get, but I get all the time. On a lousy six, four, spare. Three fill from the second spare. Seven fill, and all I got from the third spare, which seven, of course, would be the frame. And a six, the spares are the only good things, which makes it a healthy 47. Too much of a lob, that's a two. That ruined everything. Once again, the great collapse is happening. Looks like another mediocre game is going to happen. That was luck. Also well undeserved. was deserved. Alright, time for a little stinko. Hopefully to right the ship. Uh, stinks for the... Stinks for the leave. The fill of six wasn't too bad.
it, I just need one to hit the bottom end of average. Perfect shot. All right, El Stinko time. That'll wrap her up. At least this game. Can't get better than a strike, but I put in 10 because it literally matters zero difference at this point. The score will be the same because it was the fill. Oh, again? One away? Boo. 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 And a crappy three fill doesn't help either. 99. Is there correct? Go to the computer. Game 14 in a moment. We are back. Game number 15, or 14. Let's see how this one goes. And just wasn't going to make that happen. Ten start. middle finger. Take that, bowling gods. Time for El Stingle the bonus ball. So far, a perfect game. And candle pin, a perfect game is getting all 10 pins down in every single frame. So a minimal perfect score is 100. 300's never been achieved. 245 is the world record. Chris Sargent holds it, and some guy with last name of Sam... something. I forget. He was the first one to hold it at 245. El Stinko. Let's just say I'm not getting there. Nice eight fill. Maybe an 
inch or two to the left, that would have worked. Niner. It's hard to tell if the pin's good or not because the 10 pin plate matches the the alley quite well from back here. Half Worcester right. It might not have looked at when the fence pushed them down, but there were two pins back there. So that wasn't a So the halftime report, but it's busy playing the professor doing the math animation. All right, ten spare, nine, eight of those making the spare fill, then an eight and a ten, fifty-five. from that spread eagle like thing, not too bad. Bob Kaliri's once again showing his left side, but there's some wood behind him. Exactly where you wanted it to go. Strike shot. L stink of the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? This is looking like at least a mid average game.
Oh, the leaf sucks, but six fill ain't too bad. I was lucky that piece of wood was capped. Middle finger remains for the nine. Three digit score, just need that many. Stink of the bonus ball to make this 110 something or other look good. Six. And I'm firing on cylinders again. Collapses don't seem to last too long, but they seem to be happening more than once. 112. The seven's the worst thing there, really. And the six fill was the worst of the fills. Not too bad. The game. Game 15. I gotta check the battery now. Still good. What sucks about the update on the LG G5, uh, I think it was several months ago, they took away the ability as to what percentage the phone gets crippled at in terms of battery life. I set it at five, so I would have at least a few hours of idle and phone conversation if an emergency were to arise. They took that away and everything gets crippled at 15, so when it hits 15, the camera doesn't work anymore. And we're at 34, so we're good. 15. Gotta check the time. Don't want it to go too long, because then it starts a new file, and that file is corrupted all the time. I could fix it with some stuff on the computer, but why? Just make it easy. And speaking of, let's start game 15. There's that rare leave, Dave. As if he actually watches these. Not a bad attempt. Kingpin is remaining for nine. luck there. I was expecting the 9. We will definitely take 10. Since 10 is better than 9. Thank you. 
four horsemen and a seven take everything away for a five. That one did not count. Double wood in the center for eight. Or some sometimes call it reverse half whistle center. Very rare, very rarely used term. And a nine. Oh, for a minute, I thought this was going to be a rebuildable game, but it's actually slightly better than that. Halftime, nine, ten, five, eight, nine, forty-one. I still thought the kingpin was there. Nope, just the middle finger for nine. Just keep in mind where all these strikes are happening. Putnam Street. Two El Stinkos. This is known to be one of, if not the world's easiest legitimate candle pin alley. Meaning, you get the action of an alley that cheats, but he doesn't. I've proven it a billion times in the videos. Time for El Stink of the Bonus Ball. Both in terms of the balls returning with absolutely nothing and up and close and personal with the pin plate. To El Stinkos, let's see how she goes. El Stinko 1 wasn't too bad with a 6. El Stinko 2 sucked. And we got a not so good 6 fill. For a strike, it's not too good. As I say, in general, it helps the score, so who cares? That was my right ankle cramping up. It loves to give me trouble once in a while. I'm okay, just likes to complain. And a 
Halsey 5. Well, we got two really crappy frames. One that's not the best. Just need two to hit the bottom end of average. Thought I had another frame. 87. Fell apart at the end. We have a couple of stinkers right there and right there. Not a good fill. Can afford that when we don't have fives. 87. So one mediocre game so far. Sixteen. Will the battery go the distance? Like I said, it used to before they made 15% the cutoff point with no option to change it. Exactly. That's the second best start you can possibly have. Now I know I forgot the, first, the best start you possibly could have. Time for all Stingo the bonus ball. Let's see what the average. Or should we say, let's see what the score will give us. You know, I throw the bonus. It knocks down pins, hopefully, and we'll add that to frame one, as well as part of frame two. Seven fill, not bad. Once again, we're trying for the end. We got it once. Let's see if we can get it again. Stink frame of three. Well, that kind of ruins it. Although the score itself isn't really too bad. any power. I know some of you say I throw fast. Believe me, I don't. It's only like 27 miles an hour. The pros and the professionals and the, which are redundant terms, and the competitive leagues can hit, come close to or exceed 40.
take the 10. The wood could help, and it did. Niner, half time, spare. Seven and two, and which happens to be the fill for the one. Then the craptacular three. Ten and nine, 46. A six because let's add some more crappy numbers in there. Giveth, the wood taketh away. We'll take nine. that I turn and I throw right that's an eight Here comes one. Still good with the battery. How long is this segment running? Long enough, but we'll make it through the game. use a house ball to finish. Sounds like one's coming. There it is. The 
middle finger for nine. And that many for bottom of average ability. strategy didn't work out anyway. Still not too bad. Alrighty, I mean that three. Boo. The six doesn't help. 86. Alright, now it's time to do our last segment. We are back camera a little bit. Game 17, and I believe at 18, the computer shuts us off. When we get to that point, I'm going to aim the camera and we'll see what happens. ball two. Take ten. stuck in the uh, pit as they will interfere with play. said earlier. Ten is better than nine. You ten pinners wouldn't get that because it's either an open or at least a spare minimum. But you would have nine is better than eight. Is a nine. The second ball dropped into the gutter before it took out the ten pin.
grossly overcompensated again for an eight. Halftime report 10 8 8 9 8 43. isn't all that bad. going well, stink frame of three. I know that piece of wood is good because it just fell directly forward. Which means it's got another eight inches before it hits the deadwood line. And eight, we need better than that. getting more frequently stuck. This could be the second mediocre game. Worst case scenario, three mediocre games total. Let's look at the battery again. Hmm, close. Nine, that's a gutter ball. And we just made it into bottom end of average. Ooh. 80. One more game. Let's see if the battery will make it. Oh, it should make it. Yes. In fact, we'll try to speed this game up a little bit. Strikes help speed it up. Two well stink of the bonus balls.
eight for the fray. And yes, to race the battery, I am purposely going fast. Those help. Two old stinkos. There's that leaf that Dave says is no, almost non-existent. Kingpin for the nine. Strike, eight, six, fill, nine, nine, strike. 52, six, fill from six, making 58 for the half. Cutting it close here. Seven. Eight away from 90, two frames left. Seven. Those two balls were in the gutter first. We made it before the battery died. Ninety-seven. Yes. And eighteen games is the max. We've reached it. Maybe this wasn't that full hundred percent, but a uh, somewhat close hundred percent. And that'll be it. From and no, we don't need that camera. Trip over the ball return there. Go way back. 
Putnam Street Lanes in Fitchburg. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Stop the video because the battery's going to die.